How can anti-drug antibodies impact efficacy and PK? So understanding if there's anti-drug antibodies is not just a scholastic process or knowledge base, it's because there are consequences. So we have the therapeutic protein can be identified by the nidritic cell, or a B cell can also work as an antigen presenting cell that activates the T cell. The T cell is the one that orchestrates this response. With the appropriate costimulatory factors, this T cell will activate the B cells, will produce plasma cells or differentiate into plasma cells that end up producing antibodies. That's antibody anti-drug antibody induction. The T cells are also the ones that will drive a response for memory B cell that will maintain that anti-drug antibody production in this individual. But what are these antibodies? Well, these are antibodies to the drug. So let's remember what this can produce. We have a drug that's a biotherapeutic. It could be an antibody. So your drug can be an antibody. Just don't get lost in antibody to antibody. So the drug is a biotherapeutic product and it could be a complex biologic. It can be just a simple protein therapeutic. That drug has been designed in the pharmaceutical company to bind a target because that's what drugs do. This target is producing disease. So that target could be soluble or it could be membrane bound and your drug is going to bind that target. The effects of each drug are going to be different. Sometimes the binding activates the target and sometimes it inhibits the target. So depending on the drug that you're analyzing, you need to understand, is it an antibody? Is it a complex biologic? Is it a, um, a protein therapeutic? Is it binding a soluble target or is it binding a membrane bound target? Now, let's take a look at what antibodies to the drug can do. So when we have anti-drug antibodies and they bind the functional site of the drug, the drug cannot bind the target. This has a direct effect on efficacy. It decreases the efficacy of the drug because we're given the drug and the antibody is basically just blocking the functional site. This is what's called neutralizing antibodies. Not all the anti-drug antibodies are going to bind that piece of the drug. In other cases, the anti-drug antibodies bind outside the functional site of the drug. What does this mean? Well, the drug could still bind the target. And in some cases, even though the drug has anti-drug antibodies attached to it, uh, the drug can work and it can have normal efficacy. In other cases, this binding outside the functional site could actually produce a, an impact on the metabolism and excretion of the drug. So the first case, let's take a look at, or let's discuss the example where these anti-drug antibodies accelerate the excretion of the drug. And this is very common for this particular scenario. This would decrease the efficacy of the drug, even though the drug still combined the target. So you could potentially have anti-drug antibodies that are in the blood. You have your results of neutralizing antibodies are going to be negative, but you have an impact on efficacy. And that could be because it's excreting it faster. How do you know that? Because you get drug levels at the same time that you're getting anti-drug antibody levels. So when you are following patients or if you are designing a clinical trial, you do them at the same time. And this is the way that you can see how even in the absence of neutralizing antibodies, antibodies could be accelerating the excretion. And you will see that with your PK parameters. The opposite can be true. There are some cases where these anti-drug antibodies binding outside the functional site, so they're not neutralizing. What they actually do is to increase the time of the drug in the blood. They block the mechanisms by which we excrete the drug. And this is an interesting scenario because you actually can see better efficacy with the drug. And you can see in the PK, again, you take the drug samples and make sure you also analyze them with the PK. 
and you take the drug samples and you see a cumulative increase of drug because the previous dose was not excreted when you thought based on the half-life of your drug, you thought it should have been already out of the blood and you're given the next doses but this drug, the half-life of the drug is being increased because of anti-drug antibodies. So not, anti -drug, not all anti-drug antibodies are going to have the same effect on the concentration of the drug and on the function of the drug. And you need to take all of this in account for correct interpretation. You need to know the anti-drug antibody titers. Please take a look at the other video that I have that explains when the, time, when the best timing for these samples is, you also need to understand the effect on efficacy, the effect on PK, and for the effect on safety, I recommend you the uh, other videos I have on hypersensitivity reactions. I hope this was useful. Thank you very much. Check my channel for other videos.